Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Gulpner Beer Brewery, and it's a bottle of their Bjolsch und Amber. This one comes from the Netherlands. It's 5.3% ABV, and I'm looking forward to it. Bottle cap. While I get this beer open, this beer was kindly sent by our sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Check them out for a great selection of worldwide beers that you may very well not be able to find in the supermarkets, wherever you are in the world, because they're a beer specialist. They kind of they go out, they look, they hunt for the best beers in the world for people like you and me to go and try. So it's www.beersofeurope.co.uk. Beer in the glass. It's quite clear actually. I will see if it's a bottle conditioned beer later on in the review, but this glass doesn't want to seem to hold the full bottle of beer. So yeah, it's definitely an amber beer. It's an amber colour, a bit of tinge of a red to it. Carbonation raging from the bottom of the glass, big bubbles. It's quite mesmerising to look at. It's clear, it's crisp, there's no fogginess to the beer. It's a one finger white head. Let's get a nose. Mmm, and it smells interestingly like a little bit like a sour ale. It smells very fruity and yeasty, but with that kind of sourness that goes with it. Interesting nose. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. It is interesting. It has got that sourness, definite sourness to the beer. It's yeasty. It's a certain sharpness, like a, a sharpness which quickly develops into a bitterness that builds and a nice just then just on the back of the palate there a nice bready malty finish I like it pretty good so far mmm yeah good looking beer good tasting beer nice aroma It's nicely carbonated. Straight away up front you've got this kind of fizziness that really does explode on your tongue. It's, it's a mixture of two or, or three big flavours here. Number one is the yeast. This, it's got a slightly sour kind of sour mash appeal to the beer, flavour, taste to the beer. That then moves on and then there's two things that happen quite quickly together and it happens so quickly that you may you may miss it, you may miss it but there's a definite when it moves away from being a little sour and a little kind of horse blankety, it moves on to being bitter and hoppy and it's a bit of kind of like squeezed lime or squeezed lemon. It's a sharp bitterness that moves on from the sourness. But then underneath all of that is a breadiness to the beer. It's a bready malt. And it's, it kind of just lurks around. It doesn't... It's not a big pronounced flavour. But it's enough for me to make you go, ooh, you know... It's, 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 it's got a, a good multi backbone to the beer, but it's hidden somehow. It 
cherry, then that yeasty sourness. It's nice. I like it. There's the bitterness. And then just tucked underneath it is that bready malt. Decent beer. I think this is worth checking out from Beers of Europe, you know. Gulpner Bielsch Ur Amber. And there's two, there's two breweries written here on the back of the bottle. You've got Flez, Blift, Egdom, Van Uns Brewery. Or then we got at the bottom, Gulpner Beer Brewery. So yeah, check it out, beersofeurope.co.uk. What do I rate this 5.3% beer? Um, from that end of the, there's one little, little nagging issue I have really with the beer and from that area of the beer brewing world, um, if you're going for a kind of a, a yeasty, sour, amber ale, then really I think it should be bottle conditioned. It should have that kind of classic Belgian yeast strain in it, if they're going for that particular style of beer. And it hasn't, it's a, it's a filtered beer, look, it's, I poured it all out, there's nothing left. And yeah, it's, it probably could do with being bottle conditioned. But other than that, it's a good tasting beer, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.